Kentucky. That's not bad. The legendary pioneer, Daniel Boone, helped settle the Kentucky frontier. And the great 19th century American statesman, Henry Clay, represented Kentucky in the United States Congress. Henry Clay believed in what he called the American system and proposed tariffs to protect American industry and finance American infrastructure. I'm honored to be here today with many of your tremendous modern-day leaders. We're joined tonight, and I want you to give him a nice hand, because he's on our side. We've got to take good care of our people, right? And he's got a lot of power for the people of Kentucky. By our Senate Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell. Where is he? Come here, Mitch. Thank you, Mitch. How are you doing, Mitch? Hey, Mitch, we gonna be okay? Everything good? That health care is looking good? Good, thanks, Mitch. And we're also very lucky to have in my cabinet our Secretary of Transportation, the wonderful Elaine Chow. Working with Secretary Chow, we're going to rebuild the crumbling infrastructure of the United States. It's time, right? It's time. It is time. After spending trillions and trillions of dollars overseas, it is indeed time. We are going to start taking care of our country. Also with us this evening is your great governor, Matt Bevan. Where's Matt? Matt. Thanks, Matt. Congressman Andy Barr and Congressman Jamie Comer. The state motto of Kentucky is, united we stand, Divided we fall, we are united. Somebody from the fake media the other day asked me a question. They said, how are the Republicans going to finally get together? I said, wait a minute. We won the presidency. We won the House, we won the Senate. I mean, right? Actually, he was a nice guy that asked the question, but I was sort of thinking that was an interesting question because we've just about never been on a streak like this. I think 1928, a long time ago, and we're going to get a lot of things done, and then we're going to get to Truly one of my favorite things is called reducing taxes. Standing together as Americans, we are going to deliver amazing things for the citizens of Kentucky and the United States. Most importantly, we are going to take power back from the political class in Washington and return that power to you, the American people. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It started on November 8th. Remember that beautiful, beautiful day? That beautiful day. I'm going to give it back. That was a beautiful day. They weren't giving us a lot of chance, were they? Remember, there is no path to 270. Yeah.
Remember the line? And you know, for the Republicans, the Electoral College was very, very hard, very hard to win. Do you remember the famous line? There is no path to 270. Well, there was a path to 306, but maybe not to 270. But we have a lot of work to do. The fact is, we inherited a mess. It's a mess. I met with the Prime Minister today of Iraq. I met with others, the Middle East, North Korea. North Korea. I'll tell you what, what's happening there is disgraceful and not smart, not smart at all. So many different problems. And I'll tell you, you see what's happening with the economy. We picked up $3 trillion in value and our companies are bringing people back to work. We have to take on every special interest that has profited from the, tr and I mean, I don't mean like a little bit, I mean really terrible trade deals, horrible trade deals. Last year, our country lost almost $800 billion in trade. Not going to happen anymore, folks. Not going to happen anymore. Uncontrolled immigration, you see what's going on there? That's happening quickly. Got a little problem with the courts, not wanna, wanting to give us the decisions that should be given, but we're gonna win it. And a financial system stacked against the American people. These entrenched interests will do anything they can to keep the broken system in place, but they will fail and we will win because we are fighting on this side of our great American heritage. This place is packed. I mean, I don't want to say this. We could have been watching a good basketball game tonight, right? What happened? What happened? That's all right. You've done a good job, right? You've done a good job. Great team, great coach. It's all right. We are going to drain the swamp of government corruption in Washington, D.C. And we are going to keep our promises, all of the promises that we made. We are going to massively reduce your taxes. We are going to reduce very substantially rising crime and support the incredible men and women of law enforcement. We're going to bring accountability to the VA and take great care, finally, 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 of our great veterans. And our, our secretary, you wouldn't believe it, because I still don't have my cabinet. They won't approve my cabinet. There is a lot of division and a lot of bad stuff going on in this country. But I'll tell you, David, we love David. David got approved 100 to nothing. Can you believe it? Head of the VA, Secretary of the VA. And you watch what happens with the veterans. It's time. It's time we take care of our veterans. We are going to rebuild the United States military, finally.
I've proposed a budget that calls for one of the largest increases in defense spending history, and we need it. We need it. Got a lot of bad actors out there, folks, right? That's time also. And it's also jobs, because we're going to make this equipment right here in the USA. And we believe in three crucial words. Peace through strength. Here's our great Lieutenant Governor, by the way, please. Thank you, darling. Thank you. But we will spend our money wisely with just one negotiation on one set of airplanes, I saved the taxpayers of our country over $700 million. And that's just one of many. One of many. We've also kept our promise to appoint a Supreme Court justice who will uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> Judge Neil Gorsuch's hearing is now underway in the Senate, and I urge members of both parties to swiftly approve his nomination. He is an outstanding man from an outstanding family with an unbelievably Wonderful wife. They should approve. There's another promise that is deeply important to me, and I know it is deeply important to you. We are going to put our coal miners back to work. They have not been treated well, but they're going to be treated well now. Clean coal, right? Clean coal. I have already eliminated a devastating anti-coal regulation. And that is just the beginning. You saw that. You got a lot of thank yous from a lot of great people that work very hard and want to keep working. A lot of people are going to be put back to work. A lot of coal miners are going back to work. As we speak, we are preparing new executive actions to save our coal industry and to save our wonderful coal miners from continuing to be put out of work. The miners are coming back. Our new EPA administrator, Scott Pruitt, a Kentucky native, will turn the EPA environmental, will turn the EPA from a job killer into a job creator. You watch. Since my inauguration, we've already added nearly a half a million new jobs. And that's, believe me, just the beginning. Just the beginning. And I don't know, do you see those consumer confidence levels, Matt? They're through the roof. I don't even know. I think you're doing as well in Kentucky, but I know you don't like Obamacare. I know. <laughs> Great guy. We're working to remove regulations on our auto industry so we can make more cars right here in America, including more cars in Kentucky. We've wiped out many, many unnecessary regulations, and that's just the beginning. It's continuing on a weekly basis. We're getting rid of unnecessary regulations. We're going to be good for business, and we're going to be good for the workers of America. We've also cleared the way for the Keystone and the Dakota Access Pipeline. And as I was signing it, I said, where are they getting the steel? 
Where? And I said, you know what? If people want to build pipelines in the United States, they should use American steel, and they should build it and create it right here. That pipe is going to be manufactured right here. That was like a last minute. I'm saying, where are they buying this stuff? Like Henry Clay, we want to put our own people to work. We believe in two simple rules. Buy American and hire American. 